May. It's severe weather awareness week in the state of Michigan and local three's Audrey Pentecost talked with the National Weather Service about preparing for when disaster strikes. Since this is severe weather awareness week in Michigan, we are asking you to practice your severe weather emergency plans at this time. Tornadoes, floods, damaging winds, and more. Now that it's spring, it's time to start preparing for severe weather. Earlier today, across the state of Michigan, there was a statewide tornado drill where emergency alerts were tested and the National Weather Service of Marquette conducted a test to check the alert system on NOAA Weather Radio. Severe weather usually doesn't affect Michigan's Upper Peninsula until the summertime. However, this week is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and there's no better time to prepare for disaster than the present. Although we don't see too many tornadoes in the UP, other forms of severe weather can be just as dangerous. A lot of times when we have these awareness campaigns, the focus is actually on tornadoes. And while tornadoes do happen here in the UP, they're relatively rare. We average maybe one per year. And when they do occur, they're on the weak end of the scale. Still can do damage, but we're not talking Oklahoma-esque type tornadoes. Uh, instead, our focus should be more on the other hazards that come along with thunderstorms, from the flash flooding that they can produce, uh, widespread straight line wind damage uh, that does a lot more of the significant wind damage across the UP throughout the summertime. Uh, and then even lightning is a significant issue as well. Anytime you're hearing thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. So our focus should be more in that realm of things versus focusing solely on tornadoes and preparing for tornado damage. We most commonly see these severe weather events during the months of June, July, and August, but it's never too early to start preparing. At this point in the year, you can start putting together a plan for what you can do if you are to be affected by severe weather. You can plan where to shelter in your house on the lowest level in the most interior room of your home, and also you can put together an emergency kit for your home that includes flashlights, batteries, a battery-powered weather radio, and other important emergency items. So it's simply just thinking if a warning is issued, where are you going to go seek shelter? Uh, having access to weather apps on your phone that will alert you if weather warnings are issued. And then when we get closer to summer, if you're planning a trip somewhere, being weather aware, paying attention to the forecast. And if we're talking about severe weather a couple of days ahead of time, making sure that you have ways to receive warning information when uh, you're out and about doing whatever you're doing. For more information on how to stay alert and how to prepare for severe weather, find the story on our webpage. Reporting in Marquette, Audrey Pentecost, Local 3 News.